Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. I am Raghavendra Mishra and in this video you are going to learn cross browser testing using TestNG and Selenium. So with the help of TestNG and Selenium we can run the same test on different browser and we can verify the output of that test on a different browser. So that is what we call it as a cross browser testing. So with the help of uh, cross browser testing we can ensure that the site or web, web application is rendered the same on different browser. Why do we need uh, cross browser testing? So font size mismatch in different browsers. JavaScript implementation can be different and it can vary from browser to browser. CSS, HTML validation difference can be there. Some browser is still not supporting HTML5. Page alignment and div size, image orientation might be one of the reason browser incompatibility with a different os operating system and etc right so let us go to the eclipse maven project and see what all dependencies are added for cross browser uh, testing so you can see i have uh, added selenium java and uh, test ng and i have also taken one uh, dependency uh, from the mvn repository which is uh, a web driver manager from uh, boni garcia uh, artifact right so this is that package so you can search for um, web driver manager here in mvn repository and you can pick the latest dependency um, for web driver manager so just pick 5.3.1 and take the maven dependency and copy it to the pom.xml which i have already done right so after that you can save the file and uh, let us go to the maven project and see src test and uh, java and let us create one package quickly and uh, then we will write one test ng class inside that package okay so let us uh, write test ng class so cross browser test maybe okay so i have given this name and i will actually create the object of a um, web driver so uh, later i will initialize the web driver uh, respective web drivers for different browser right, where we are going to run our test so let me just create the reference variable of web driver interface and then i will go with firefox options firefox options class and will create the object of this class Okay, and similarly, I will create the object of uh, Chrome Options class. Chrome Options equal to new Chrome Options. And similarly, I will create the object of Edge Options. All the pro possible um, browsers can be taken here, which are already supported by the Web Driver Manager class, right? So uh, Chrome options, let me create object of this edge equal to new edge options and then I will just write, uh, let me just not touch this test annotation as of now, rather I will create one initialize uh, method in before under before test annotation so that should be public wide initialize initialize okay and let me just take the browser value from the test ng okay so and based on the browser which is passed from test ng, uh, test ng.xml from the parameter i will be actually initializing that browser driver okay so if that browser is is firefox then i will be initializing the firefox driver okay so similarly so if that is a string so i have to put that inside a double quote and just let me initialize let me write firefox is launched or is being initialized okay launched 
and then I will be basically we are inside that uh, Firefox block right so here we will be initializing web driver manager web driver manager and Firefox driver and setup we'll do setup okay so that's done so we have loaded that uh, Firefox driver here and then uh, driver will be initialized this web driver reference variable will, will be initialized with the Firefox driver actually okay makes sense right and here you can see you can write Firefox is launched okay so this is that code and uh, you can now write else if block also for different browser so if browser which you are passing from test ng.xml is chrome then what will happen so we are going to write chrome here in the else if condition and similarly i will be copy paste and let me change it to chrome driver quickly chrome driver setup and the chrome driver here of course i will be initializing chrome driver now and I will say Chrome is launched and similarly for Edge or Safari okay so browser equal to if Edge if I'm passing Edge Edge browser I have to initialize Edge driver for that and I will be initializing the driver with Edge driver okay and I will right Edge is launched all right let me just do a pretty format i mean I, let me set the indentation of this and so yeah so we have initialized the browser uh, 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 web driver here and in this uh, so in the before test method right we have initialized the driver and now what will i do i will actually write the test method so inside this annotation test annotation i will be writing one public method called city bank login say okay and what i will do i will actually call city bank okay city dot com maybe okay https https let me put this url inside the double quote because it is going to be string url and that's it guys so i can also verify like uh, if i get the same title on different uh, browser or not okay so if this site actually gives the same uh, uh, title if we execute the same test on different a browser right different uh, age chrome and firefox so let me just write driver dot driver dot get title and this is going to be my actual and i can expect that expect that it will have city kind of you know text inside that so i can put one assertion simply and just verify if we have actual and basically the actual or contains city test and the expected also contains the city that will make more sense right so expect dot also contains city okay so if this condition match this test is going to be passed okay i can remove this for now and uh, i can write or i can write the after test after test here and just end test i will say and i will just quit the browser quit the so that's it guys okay so let me just set the indentation one more time yeah and then i will what i will do i will actually go ahead and uh, create the test ng file out of this okay 
so let me just go to the test ng and convert to as test ng so without wasting time i will just convert this class to the test ng and you will see i have chrome browser test class to execute right if i execute this suite i will i mean it will actually execute the cross browser test class so what i will do i will actually go ahead and uh, change the test name of this test and i will add the param here right parameter can be added so what will i will do i will actually pass the value chrome for browser parameter okay and similarly i will be creating one more test for i'll be creating one more test for firefox okay you got it right firefox and then i will pass firefox from here for the browser parameter okay i will write one more test for age and i will pass the browser value equal to age so which means i'm just telling test ng to you know run this test through test ng i'm just making sure that if i pass this value i am actually executing my test on this browser okay if i pass age let my test you know get executed on this browser so browser is is okay so that's that's it okay so let me just run it and see if we can run it or not okay so there are some uh, failures skip let us see the result why it is failing okay and fail test why it is failed cross browser so it says i test context so there is some uh, error uh, guys so you can just make a note of it so i test context xml can inject only one i test context or xml test into before test annotated initialize okay so what it means like this means that i have not used my params accordingly okay so uh, i have to use the parameter basically okay so i will be using one annotation called parameter and just before test and uh, i will be passing bar browser okay so this is the parameter okay and the value of this uh, browser will be replaced with the actual value uh, when we have this parameter passed from test ng.xml okay so this is that value and this is that value and this is that value so we have created a three test in a test ng.xml and we are passing the values from browser parameter okay from the test ng.xml and let us see if we can run it again or not so you can see my test has executed successfully and it is launching city.com okay so it is it has launched the test same test on browse uh, chrome browser now you see uh, firefox browser sorry and now it has launched the test on edge browser you can see okay cool so all my tests are passed and you can also see the edge is launched and it has launched uh, firefox it has launched chrome okay so similarly so uh, right from the uh, right from the top to bottom it has actually launched all the browsers okay okay and the result of running test is passed because that get title also matched right so we have put one uh, conditions uh, like if assert dot equal assert equals actual dot contains city and expect also contains you know city so it matches okay so it passed the result so this is how you can do the cross browser testing and uh, with the help of test ng and selenium of course so that's it in this video hope you have liked uh, this video and uh, just let me know if you have any further question and thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and share this channel with your friends and do stand by on this channel for more videos so thanks for watching again and uh, see you next video until then keep learning